Whenever I'm about to do something, I think, would an idiot do that? And if they would, I do not do that thing. Now that VR is all the rage, or was that AI? Whatever. I'm going to show you today how to get into some PC VR action on your handheld. The handheld I'm using in this video is the Lenovo Legion Go, which works surprisingly well with PC VR. Do note though that your mileage may vary depending on which handheld you're using. So leave me a comment below if you're having trouble. Now, because this video is a little different from others on the channel, I'll be doing this in two parts. The first one where I show off some titles that I tried, and the second part where I show you how to get up and running. But before you skip ahead, hey, get back here. Just know that not all VR titles will run as well as the ones that I'm showing you, and some performance may change as well, as VR can be quite demanding. And also, yes, you should get a very similar experience if you do this on your ROG Ally or other 7840U device like the GPD Win 4, Win Mini, or iNeo 2S. So like with all the other guides, be sure to pause if you need to, because we're going to go quick. In the second part, anyway. You ready? One, two, three, here we go. Part 1. This is the demonstration portion of the video where I'll show you a couple of titles that I tested out. Just keep in mind that not every VR title is expected to work like this, but more are playable than you would expect. The main thing to keep in mind here is that what I'm showing you is my experience and it'll be largely dependent on your Wi-Fi connection. I took the lazy man's route and recorded this footage while being completely wireless on both my Quest 3 and on the Legion Go. But you can definitely reduce the latency and probably improve performance or resolution if you connect your handheld via Ethernet, assuming you have some kind of hub like the Ugreen hub with an Ethernet port. This way, you're only relying on the Wi-Fi connection from your Quest headset to the handheld. Also, this footage is mostly from Virtual Desktop, which I think is the superior platform right now, but I'll talk about that more later in the second part. And here's just a bit more gameplay.
Now that the demo part of the video is out of the way, let's get to part two, where I show you how to get it done. Real quick, here's what you need. Your Legion Go or other Windows handheld, like your ROG Ally. Remember that your performance will greatly vary depending on what hardware you're using. Your VR headset. I'm using the MetaQuest 3 and performance will also vary depending on which headset you're using, like a Quest 2, Quest 1, or Pico 4. There are also other ways to connect to your headset, like AirLink, which I'm not going to cover in this video. So once again, your mileage may vary. Obviously, your VR supported titles. Lastly, this one is optional, but recommended. As I mentioned before, a USB-C hub with an Ethernet port to connect directly to your handheld, like this Ugreen 10-in-1 Revo dock. You guys really need to tell me how to pronounce this thing. And that's it. Step one, on your handheld, open up Steam and install your VR supported title. You can check if it's VR supported on the store page, which will show up on the side like this. Alternatively, you can check places like gg.deals, which also lists various type of VR supported and VR only games. Step two, connect your Quest headset to Steam Link. If you're a Pico 4 user, sorry, you're gonna have to wait for support for that. But on your Quest, do this first by installing Steam Link app off the Meta Store or in the headset. Do that by clicking and opening the store, searching for Steam Link, and then clicking install or get. If you're connecting via virtual desktop, skip ahead to step four. Step three, with Steam open on your handheld, put on your headset and open up the Steam Link app with the headset. After that, you should see the screen with available computers to connect to, and you should see your handheld's name, listed as the computer's name. If you don't see anything, it's possible your headset is connected to a different network than your handheld, so make sure they're connected to the same network. Then click on the name of the device, and then, when prompted, on the handheld, enter the code to allow for connection. Now skip to step 7, unless you're using virtual desktop. Step 4. With Steam open on your handheld, put on your headset and open up the virtual desktop app. Do this by searching for virtual desktop in the store. Do note that this isn't a free app and it can be a little pricey, but it does go on sale. So you'll have to pay for the purchase either in headset or in the meta store page. Once you have the app though, this app in my opinion is superior to Steam Link right now, but that may change in the future. Once you have it purchased and then you open it, you can then download the desktop streaming app. And if you're not prompted, go to www.vrdesktop.net and then click download streamer app. Step five. Once you've downloaded the streamer app, go ahead and install it by double clicking on the .exe following the installation steps. After that, open up the app and you'll have to enter your Oculus username. If you don't remember it, you can find it within the headset or on the Metastore profile page. Once it's entered on your desktop, you should then be able to see your computer show up in virtual desktop app within your headset. And we'll go over more in the next step. Step six, open the virtual desktop app in your headset if it's not already open. You should then get thrown right into the screen like this, which shows your computer. Once you're connected, I suggest going to the streaming and settings tabs to configure it to look like something like this. And I'll pause for a second so you can copy my homework. I also suggest setting SSW or screen space warp, as that can help with harder to run games in VR on handheld. If you don't like that though, because it might create some visual artifacts, go ahead and disable it. Once you're set up, click your computer's name, if you haven't already, and then click Launch Steam VR. Step seven, you should now get loaded into the Steam home environment. It may take some time to load up. If you're impatient, hit the left Oculus menu button on your left controller to pull up what looks like a floating Steam Deck or Steam OS screen. Navigate to your library and then boot up the game you want. If it's a flat or non-VR game, it'll just look like a big floating screen you can move around or adjust in the environment with the controls. Otherwise, you should boot directly into VR. Step eight, now you're done. You can enjoy some VR on the go. No, I will not apologize for my go puns. You apologize for skipping through my video. Oh, and one more bonus tip. Did you know that you can also mount whatever you're watching to one of your wrists? Like if you're watching a YouTube video. Although doing this will probably tank your performance even further. What won't tank your performance though is you slapping the buttons on screen and checking out these reviews next. GG.